Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be doing a project with this lamp that I found in the dumpster. Um, I think it was like maybe towards the end of summer. It might have been right when it was getting cold. Now this lamp is broken as you can see. I did try to mess with it a little bit. I could not get it to work and the cord is also cut but I can fix cords on things but this was just kind of I guess a little too damaged where it's not going to be able to get fixed so stay tuned and you'll see what we're going to do with it. Every single day Okay, so like I previously mentioned, this lamp is broken. But I really, really like the design of it, and that's why I went ahead and took it out. It's a little dirty, so it doesn't look that shiny, but it kind of looks like it reminds me of one of those crystal type lamps. It is glass, and um, like I said, I really like the design, so I didn't want to throw it away, and I wanted to try to figure out something to do with it. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to make sort of like a faux lamp like um it's going to be like a lamp but it's not going to be of course a real lamp because like i said it doesn't plug in um i'm going to basically just be using it as decor and then i'll also use it kind of as a night light here in my entryway the very first thing that i want to do with this lamp is if you guys can see there's um, these little silver metal pieces in between each bulb. And I do want to kind of glam this up a little bit. So I'm going to take some of those gemstones that you've seen me use in two previous videos already that I got from, I think I got sink Hobby Lobby. And you can see that I have used quite a bit of them already. And I'm going to glue them around each section because it's going to match something else we're going to do here in a little bit. Okay, now if you guys can see, I did get the gemstones put in between each of these crystal balls or glass balls, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, it just reminds me of a crystal lamp. And I already think it gives it a more uh, glam, like sophisticated look. And now the next thing I'm going to do with this top part, um, since it is broken like this and we're not going to be able to use it, I'm just going to use some hot glue and stand it up like this and put the hot glue around the bottom so it's standing up straight. And you'll see why we're going to need this to be straight in just a second. I did get the hot glue added. It doesn't matter if this part's crooked because we're not even going to be using that. This part is up straight now. And this lamp is a little dirty from being in the dumpster. And then I had it sitting in my garage for a few months. Just pulling off some glue strings here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clean the whole thing down. And then we're going to start on the lampshade. Okay, now for the lampshade. This is something I also found in the dumpster. It does look dirty on the outside, but that's just because of the plastic. It's not on the inside. I don't think it even went with this lamp. I think I actually found it at two separate times, but as you place it on there, you see it does look like it will be a perfect fit. And this is just a plain white lampshade, so let me show you what I'm going to do with this to glam it up a little bit. Okay, so for the lampshade, I'm wanting to do a chandelier type look, and I don't have any of those acrylic beads that you can order off of Amazon to pretty much do like a DIY chandelier, make your own chandelier. So what I'm doing is I'm taking some of this diamond wrap that I already had, and I'm just cutting it into strips like this. And this is a real easy way to make your own if you have some diamond wrap and then just have some gemstones like this. And I'm taking some of these gemstones and I'm just gluing it down the strip. And you'll see here I already have this one made. So this is pretty much what it looks like after you're finished. And it hangs really straight. It's not crooked or it doesn't have any kinks in it or anything like that. So I'm going to finish up with these. Okay, so all together I made eight of these chandelier drops is what I'm calling them. So now we're going to go ahead and just add them onto the lampshade. And how I'm going to add these on, 
I did leave a little room at the top of each one of these and the reason I did that is because I'm going to take this piece and put it inside the lampshade like that with just a drop of hot glue so this can hang down. Okay, now that I have the chandelier drops on the lampshade, I still think it looks a little plain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some diamond wrap and I'm going to go ahead and add some of this to this lampshade. Now we're going to go ahead and add it to the lamp. So here's how the lamp looks all put together. In my opinion, I think it looks really nice. I actually think it kind of looks like it would be a um, kind of like an expensive lamp. And now I'm going to show you the way, like I said, I'm going to use it kind of just as like a nightlight because I think it looks pretty. So I'm just using it as a decor piece. I might eventually remove this shade and put it on a lamp that does work because I really like the shade. But I will show you how I'm going to put just a little light inside. So I got this light from the Dollar Tree and it's one that you put batteries in it and you just press it and then the light comes on. And that's why we needed that piece inside of the lamp here to sit straight because we're just going to put this right inside the lamp. So I do have that light down inside of the lamp now and I'm going to turn these lights off and you'll see how it just gives a very subtle glow that will be perfect for a nightlight. So this is how it looks with the light inside. Um, it actually is a little bit brighter than what's picking up here on the camera, but you can see it will be perfect enough just to light my entryway here at nighttime. And I think it turned out really nice. So that is the end of this tutorial. You'll have to let me know what you guys think of how you think the lamp turned out. And like I said, I'm just using it as a little night light for right now, but I probably will end up removing this and put it on another lamp but again this was an idea of how you could use a lamp you found in the dumpster that doesn't actually work you could even i'm sure you can buy a light from somewhere else and put it in here that's even brighter and use it that way but uh you have to leave a comment and let me know what you guys think of this and like always thank you so much for watching i will see you next time Bye bye